So recently I got my hands on the Inquisitor Mace on my Iron Man and I've been loving that weapon. It's been a game changer for me at Nightmare for the rest of my grind there. Just saving tons of blood runes and speeding up kills. But anyways, the mace is best in slot elsewhere as well. I've already tested a Cerberus, we were denning 40 plus kills an hour with it. And there's two other places I wanted to test and in this video I finally managed to get my uh, testing done. So that is Kelfight Queen and Soragnus. It's time to go and kill some Kelfight Queen with a new mace. Try to figure out how many kills an hour I can get. I'll just do the entire task and then see what the uh, average XP is per hour and then we can figure out how many kills we do an hour. 60 already, right off the bat. Oh my god, I love this. This mace is amazing. Oh, I got a late clue scroll. Oh, shiz. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna open this up. Ooh, holy raps, yo. Nice, man. I was hoping I get a master clue. Never gone this before. Does this give prayer? I think it does, yeah. Oh, nice. Three prayer points. Hey, that's pretty cool, man. Is this like best in slot prayer gloves or something? Holy wraps? That means I need to get holy sandals and uh, devout boots, dude. Hell yeah, that's cool. Please? Oh, so close. Oh, yes. That was amazing. God damn. That ain't fun. I'll use this opportunity to flinch it and get a free hit. Easy. I'm always down to flinch. Flinching actually comes in handy sometimes. So I realized that if I land two Warhammer specs on the Calphite Queen, this mace will pretty much destroy it regardless of what form she's in. So as you can see in this video, I'm just destroying her. So a fun fact about Calphite Queen, she actually doesn't use protection prayers even though it shows up, you know, with like the prayer protection symbol. So these symbols only mean that for example, uh, Flying Phase, she's protect from melee, quote unquote. It's actually just her melee stats are a lot higher than normal. That's all it means. So as you can see, I'm still hitting my max hits and whatnot, you know, as if she's just not even praying. So yeah, for the other phase, it would be high magic resistance and high range resistance. But yeah, Maze is so good here. And it's not that much worse than a blowpipe, it feels. Uh, I get to save scales, you know. Huh. That's the good part about it. Oh, nice. D2H. A87. Hey, Max it. Easy game. Now we finished it. There we go. And, uh, yeah. I was averaging... Uh, let's see, I'll show you. So today was also about the same XP per hour. 14.3k, so that's... Approximately 26 kills an hour. So I think... A long time ago when I was doing bludgeon, uh, it's probably like 22 or something. So yes, this mace is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. The top dog, you know, alongside the scythe, except no blood runes. So. Alright guys, there's one final place I want to test the Inquisitor mace at, and it's going to be at Sorachnus. So that's one of those newer bosses, uh, easier bosses that came out recently. And uh, I'm thinking about maybe going for the pet, just because this mace is perfect for... The Seracnus, it's basically best in slot there, outside of the site. So yeah, man, I'm gonna test it out for two hours, see how many kills I can do with this maze. Man, already got a hard clue scroll. So Seracnus is one of the best bosses to get clue scrolls from, particularly the hard at 140 and the elites at 1 in 60. You can get both of them in about an hour on average. Alright, so the uh, respawn timer on this boss is insane now. I remember when I was doing Twisted League, it was um like 30 seconds, now they made it like 10 seconds. Oh, yo, Elite Clue Scroll and Grubby Key. God damn, 17 kills and I've already gotten so many drops of Clue Scrolls. So it's really easy to do a crazy amount of kills at Seracnus just because it drops these things called the Grubby Keys and that is a 1 in 15. And nearby is a chest where you use the Grubby Keys and it's guaranteed food drops as you can see. So yeah, you basically just Open it up, get some food, and go right back in for some more kills and hope you get some more keys because I was able to stay for like 40 minutes or something just because of these keys. This is the end of the trip. Alright, so how much did I end up making Nani? from uh, this trip? Pretty good. 750k, man. 750k. Not bad. 
So I just did two hours of Soracnus. So I was getting about 24.2 thousand hit point experience an hour. And the boss gives approximately 500 hit point experience per kill. So I was getting around, I would say, 46 kills an hour. I'm pretty sure you can get a lot higher than that, but obviously it's my first time doing Soracnus. I could probably imagine 50 kills an hour is pretty uh, more than likely. So it's fair to say that I will eventually go for the Soracnus pet after this testing. It's shown me that it's going to be really easy to get this pet on average. It's like 60 hours with a mace. And also the drops are nice, the red spire eggs are good. And also it drops a lot of clue scrolls, which I still do a lot of for ornament kits. So yeah, man, I can definitely see me camping this boss a lot. All right, we got another master. This one's from Soracnus. Here we go. Ah, wow, it's actually quite bad. <laughs> Hackers often target RuneScape accounts to various vulnerabilities that you may not realize you have. One of the biggest vulnerabilities is the email tied to your RS account. There are many ways that your email becomes vulnerable to hackers. One of the most common tactics is through database leaks. Say your RS account's email is also connected to another website. If that other website has a database leak, all personal information, including your email, will be available for anybody that's trying to hack online accounts. Luckily, Dashlane exists to help you monitor things like database breaches associated with your emails so that you can prevent hacks before it happens. Dashlane can create and manage all your passwords in one secure place. Dashlane also has a secure autofill feature that works for personal information, a VPN to prevent prying eyes from tracking your online activities as well. Dashlane works across all devices including all Apple products, PCs, Android, Safari, and Chrome so that all facets of online browsing is extra secure and easy to manage. To get Dashlane for free for life on your first device, laptop, or phone, head to dashlane.com slash ricecup and use my promo code RICECUP to use it on everything and get 10% off. There's been a lot of quality of life updates recently and one really big one for high level players is the Narda teleport change from the Desert Amulet. So the Desert Amulet, if you complete the Elite Diary, can teleport you to Narda infinite amount of times. And before, it used to send you to the middle of town, but now it sends you straight next to the altar. And the altar in Narda is really interesting because it works almost like the Rejuvenation Pool. It will bring your HP and your prayer and all that stuff back to full. And you also get a percentage boost above your max HP. So at 99 HP, it heals you to 106. So this is really nice for Zora because if you're using the Zora Teleport Scrolls, it is actually better to use the Narda Altar than it is to use the Rejuvenation Pool at your house because the Narda Altar gives you more HP back, which means you can uh, use less food at Zora. And also the loading time to the Narda Altar versus the house is quicker. So if you are using the Zolandra teleports often like I am, then yeah, the Narda Tele is actually the better choice. So this update is really nice for people doing high level efficient Zora. All right, let's try this again. Narda Tele, uh, click on this. Boom, dude, that is so nice, man. That is nice. Okay, I actually like this more than POH, holy shit. All right, we just hit 4,000. Kill count, boys. 4,000, man. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Of everything, I, uh, I'm still missing a Metagen, uh, which is the Magma one. But yeah, as long as we keep needing scales, I'll eventually get it, I guess. So. Yeah, so Naruto, as you can see, I still keep my Venge. So it's sick. If I go to my house, I lose it too, so... So, at Nightmare, I only use Blood Runes for the Sang Staff now, so I'm feeling pretty confident that I can just go all in. Wow, that's insane. Holy shit. That that took a lot of Blood Runes. <laughs> but yeah, man, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, yeah, only having to worry about using Sang Staff for the Bloods is so much nicer now, you know, without the Scythe. Still got a lot left. Oh, I found a new trick. Instead of going one step back when the Parasite exits the boss, I go two steps back, and then the boss runs it over completely and forces it in the middle. Why didn't I think about that, you know? The things you kind of figure out after a bajillion solos. 
Hopefully I can kill this before the uh, parasite spawns. Oh my god, this is amazing. Holy shit, keep hitting it. Yes. Oh my god, that was amazing, dude. That was some epic, that was some epic damage. I've decided that I'm just gonna drop the trident from my setup because the only reason I used it was to conserve blood runes, but now I'm honestly nowhere near using as much blood runes after the mace. So yeah, I'm just gonna go for slightly faster kills and just spam the sang staff the whole time. 1300 KC though. Yeah, well, hey, now with the mace and this uh, slightly modified setup, uh, I'm sticking with this. Definitely a constant sub 20 minute kills. My recorder wasn't on. Dude, we just we just saw their freaking Inquisitor play body, dude. Now I see it, dude. Oh my god, imagine if I got that. That would be insane, yo. Inquisitor top and bottom. Holy crap. I ain't even mad, dude. That's cool. That's cool to see. Alright, this was another pretty good kill. Oh my god, I just tied my PB. Really? Come on, man. You couldn't give me a sub-17? Seven, sub Come on, bro. Damn, this is so fast. I have two minutes left on my view heart. Holy shit, this could be a PB, man. Two freaking minutes left on my view heart. That's such a long time. Alright, this is it. What's the time? I need to know. There we go. Oh my god, 1648. I did it. Nice, dude. Let's freaking go. I, I told you. I knew the sub-17 is possible, bro. That's insane. And like, honestly, the RNG could be even better. Okay, I don't know how I managed to take zero damage from that melee hit. I was like pretty much inside the boss. Let me guys show you something crazy. So, you see this Toflax, man? All these herbs are gone. And I didn't farm any of the Toflax that I had for like the past year or two. Because I got all of them pretty much from uh, Chambers of Xerix. And uh, Theater of Blood. So I've done over 2,200 raids. Most of them being solos, which is a lot more points than normal. And I believe Theater of Blood also gave a lot of Toflex too. So yeah, I had like probably like 5,000 plus just from doing all these raids. But yeah, they're all gone now, man. Nightmare just, yeah, eats up your freaking pots. And you don't get like anything back, you know, to help make more. But luckily I got seeds. So it's time for me to go on a massive farming operation. But yeah, man, it's making me, like, do all kinds of farming, this boss, yeah, like, snake grass, limber seeds, and, like, toe flags, I gotta do them now. Alright, guys, I had to spend, like, two hours to get all these salt. Alright, so there's a few things I need to unlock here. We got, uh, the wise portal, and also harmony, because there's an herb patch there as well, so I want that. And also barrels, uh, for master clues. So these are some of the more new ones. That are really useful, so yeah. Uh, confirm the cost, and yeah, let's do it. Alright, now I can do some of my herb runs a lot more efficiently now, so it's gonna be really useful, man, having this. So you can actually rearrange the teleports to different orders, so I'm gonna move all the ones like for farming and like barrels and stuff at the top, so that way I can just easily, you know, click on them instead of having to scroll down, so that's really nice. This is kind of a random small goal here, but I've had this Candoran Diary uh, pretty much almost finished for the longest time. Like, literally years now, but yeah, it's time that I finish it. I'm working on BA right now, just getting the level 5 rolls. Alright, it's time to check the blackboard and complete this task. Let's go. Ah, Alrighty. Yeah, enough just to gamble, bro. Let's go. Except, uh, we got the uh, collector. Here we go. Here we go, boys. Let's see what we get. Oh, palm nut sacks. Great. All right, we did everything. All right, time to get my my uh, good old helmet here. Anyways, there you go. The teleport is all that really matters. It sends you straight to here for the clue scrolls. You know. I just run down here. Now we can, uh, yeah, slightly do clue scrolls a little bit easier. Alright, anyways, let's check out this master. Hopefully it's good. Ooh, not bad. Wines, snapdragons. I should have space. Here we go, boys. Hope it's good. Ooh, semi-greaves. Dang, I have that already. 
Oh man, I, I thought I completed full samurai just then. If you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely consider giving it a like. I'm assuming you did because you made it to the end. But yeah, it would help out a lot in promoting this video. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I do have a French chat, so if you guys need a place to hang out, definitely consider joining ours at Mr. Iron Bar. And also, consider subscribing. That way you won't miss on future videos. And if YouTube content isn't enough, I do stream all of my live progress on Twitch as well. So consider visiting us on twitch.tv slash Anyways, I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care and bye bye.